What is this, a video? I mean, yeah, I'm talking to myself. Are we recording? <laughs> okay, we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're recording. All right, let's just, let's just get a little peeky-weeky. Let's get a little peeky what we're looking with. Let's do very traditional tarot. <clears throat> What's the very traditional tarot? I hope everyone's having a good day. A good day, a good day. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Who's all over, Mama? All right. What are we looking at? Not King of Pencil. That was the Knight of Pentacles. Whoa, that's too many. Here I am. Sorry guys, I'm standing, so if you can't see me shuffle, I'm sorry. It just was kind of like funny. Shuffling low for you guys. Shuffling low is not working. Holy moly, do they want to come out like that. Um, I don't know what you're holding on to, okay? But you're fighting, you're fighting to not let go of something. You don't want to go towards the unknown. Um, there's some type of... There's some type of something. Okay, so I, I don't know if it's the Queen of Swords. It's... Queen of Swords is not usually confused. So, I don't know if this moon energy is kind of stressing... So I don't know why it's having me go backwards. Huh. Or is somebody's holding on to her and it's like a battle to get there. So I don't know if this person's confused trying to go to the queen. Because the queen, this type of queen would not be confused. Tell me about the four of pence. What are we holding on to? The star. So holding on to hope. To me, it's like, what are you cutting out? Like, tell me about the moon. If that's the case. Too many. So cutting out the bullshit, but that, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, she wouldn't be confused. It would be the end of that shit. End of confusion. End of fighting. This isn't a bad fight, though. This is kind of like a push through. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if someone's holding on to Aquarian. If Aquarian's holding on real tight. Or if this is just somebody that's holding on real tight to faith because they're just unsure on how to get to to get to her. So it's like this energy seems a bit confused. Unless I read it backwards, but like like I said, the Queen of Swords is not a confused woman. <clears throat> Tell me about the nine of wands. So it's it's somebody at a distance and someone's got to speak up. There needs to be some type of clarification here, some type of communication, some type of interaction, some type of truth, some type of something, okay? So we're, it's like she or he is over this, you know, and it's one more fight to communicate. Somebody is at a distance, somebody's thinking about their future. So to me, I, I guess it's the same Aquarian energy. Tell me about the star. So I don't know if it's just an Aquarian holding on. You know, it's one more fight. It's communication. It's it's no longer that. I mean, trying to process that under the moon energy can be a, a bit confusing, maybe for this particular energy, but not for the queen. She just would not come up as the queen. Tell me about this star, please. So it's the King of Cups and whatever this is, the Nine of Cups, all right? So this is 
this is like somebody's happy. Is this the King of Cups happy? And so to me, you're dealing with a strong Aquarian or it's just not Aquarian energy. And you might have to wait for that new moon to see a transition. But not necessarily, okay? It's just the confusion on how to, how to get here. It's, it's like, okay, we've accomplished this. So I feel like this is different energy. But not not necessarily, okay? So it's like we accomplished we accomplished this. We got to, you know, the 10 always goes back to the ace. So tell me about this queen of swords. All right, this is, it's an adventure, but it's like going in this direction. All right, with the five of, with the wheel of fortune, the five of swords. So to her, something is, is kind of a lose-lose. It, it, it's it's not necessarily a lose lose if the divine is partaking and it looks like the divine is definitely partaking but with the confusion of the moon it brings the the five of swords but this is petty okay but this is this, this is not confusion it's it's petty so i don't know if someone's in pisces energy the high priestess is Pisces too. The woman's been coming out as, as Pisces, so it might just be representing Pisces energy. And just coming in as the Queen of Swords is very mental, very clear, very non, no bullshit, going on an adventure. So you're meeting in the middle. So right around this moon energy, so this either this full moon is bringing... It brought the end, the, the the full moon pretty much douched out the Ten of Swords, okay? And now here comes this. So that that to me is, is communication. That Ace of Swords is, is communication, but it's just a struggle for somebody. Not really a struggle. It's, it's just they're not letting go of something that's, that's in the past that no longer serves them. I don't know if it's ego-related, if this person's a little arrogant, you know, coming in. You know, this... When the stars next to the nine of cups, I want to say it's more of like a happy, fun time event, that type of thing. But like I, I that to me is speaking of like the Aquarian new moon energy that should already be hitting people, which is fabulous. It must have hit her. So I don't know if she's turning to the moon, if she's turning to the skies for advice. All right. So to me, yeah, that's lack of communication right there. But that's the communication. So if you've been blocked, this person doesn't quite have the strength, but they kind of do. They, they, they're aware that that contract's there still. It's kind of like yesterday's energy, okay? So it's, it's that healing from holding on to something, whatever this person was holding on to. They're holding on to love. They're not, they're not expressing, okay? Um, tell me about the Four of Swords. So to me, that's just saying there was some type of blockage. That's a whole lot. All right, yeah, see that that devil was lurking, unless it's talking about a cappy. But here comes that message with the Knight of Pence. All right, and it has to do with the two of you. It's giving somebody anxiety. All right, but it, it's it's coming through. So it's just a matter of time. I'm just going to pull you one of these cards. Best advice or what kind of like overall message. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. I really want to know about this Ace of Swords. To me, it's, it's, it's communication. That wants to come out. It's the world, so it's the end and the beginning. Okay. Uh, challenging times. The end of challenging times, moving to the, the beginning. Job well done. You know, it's, it's the path of enlightenment. This person's definitely been enlightened. They know about that contract. Okay. So it's it's definitely something coming in. The Empress, all right, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, notice, nurture yourself and others. So it's almost like no matter whose energy that is, it's just about nurturing. And it's double threes. So there's 33. And there's that strength with the ace. Have the strength to have that new stat. So it is all about communication, something coming in, something going in your direction. Um, but I think somebody's got negative thoughts with the wheel being in next to the five of swords. Somebody's just that, that negativity 
you, you think about the future with something, and I don't know what your scenario may be, but it instantly goes to negativity. All right, but it says you got that great inner strength. Release the harsh judgment. That's harsh. That's that harsh judgment, okay? Forgiveness, compassion. That's why, so to me, it's the empress energy that needs to nurture this and forgive somebody, okay? So, but they're super, their thoughts are a little harsh. Some of you, for sure, not all of you, but some of you are, are, are harsh, okay? So t take it down a notch if you can, okay? I love you guys. Bye.